Dear students, this is Binu Marcus reaching to you in lockdown time due to COVID-19. Let us prepare ourselves for the examinations. Now that you have to do British plays, it is essential that you know something about the origin and development of English drama. In this video, I have attempted to give you some information regarding the same. As you will see, I'll be first touching upon the key words that you'll come across during the presentation and then you'll see the development of English drama face wise. Drama, as you all know, is an enactment on stage by actors. It is like any other literary form, but it is different in its manner and method. Burlesque is a parody. It may be understood as any literary, dramatic or musical work intended to evoke laughter. An example could be Alexander Pope's The Rape of the Lock. Blank verse is an unrhymed verse in iambic pentameter. Iambic pentameter is a metrical pattern used in poetry. Iamb means a foot and a foot is a small group of syllables. Rhythm in blank verse is established by the alternation of an unstressed syllable and a stressed syllable. Robert Browning's My Last Duchess is written in iambic pentameter. A realist play is closer to life and the characters are common men and the dialogue is plain too. This kind of plays gained prominence in 1870s and continued well into the 20th century. An example of a realist play could be Osborne's Look Back in Anger. Farce is an exaggerated, elaborate and improbable comedy. Oscar Wilde's The Importance of Being Earnest is an apt example. Verse drama is also known as poetic drama and it is a drama, as you can understand, it is written in verse. And this has to be spoken. T.S. Eliot's Murder in the Cathedral is an example of a verse drama. Liturgy is a religious ritual or public performance by a religious group. Tableau is a motionless static representation of a historical scene. In the beginning, English drama came from liturgy. The clergy enacted scenes from the Bible so that the layman could understand the narrative which was originally in the Latin language. As people began to come in good numbers, the venue of the enactment had to be changed. From the church premises, it went to the marketplace. The clergy passed on the tradition to the trade guilds. The guilds made it elaborate and it became a pageant. A pageant is an outdoor performance. It consisted of a procession of people in elaborate and colorful costume. Each trade took up a play that best represented its trade. The Noah's Ark was taken up by people belonging to trade related to the sea. Morality plays came next in line. Here the characters were abstractions. They represented a virtue or a vice. These plays were meant to impart moral values the triumph of good over evil. The seven sins depicted were lust, greed, sloth, pride, envy, gluttony and wrath. And the seven virtues were known to be diligence, patience, gratitude and honesty. Two best examples of morality place could be every man, and the castle of perseverance. All these plays, whether it was mystery, miracle, morality, all of them belong to the medieval period, 
that is between the 12th to the 14th century. Now, during the reign of Queen Elizabeth between 1558 to 1603, poetry and drama flourish. And this was also the period of the English Renaissance. Plays were written with heroic themes and the characters had idiosyncrasies. Important playwrights of this period were Christopher Marlowe, William Shakespeare, Ben Jonson, Thomas Kidd and Thomas Decker. Elizabethan drama was replaced by restoration comedy or comedy of manners. This form of drama was a result of the puritanical regime headed by Oliver Cromwell. At the dusk of the golden era of the Elizabethan period, civil war broke out as a result of which Charles I was executed in 1649. This period is the interregnum period in English history from the execution of Charles I in 1649 to the restoration of Charles II in 1660. It is basically a period when normal government is suspended, especially between two successive reigns. When Charles II came to power in 1660, he opened the closed theatres that were shut. As a result, plays began to be redundant with profligacy. Female characters or female actors were introduced to the stage during this era. Playwrights of this period were William Congreve, William Shirley, Etheridge and others. The restoration drama gave way to domestic tragedy and sentimental comedy. These plays were in contrast to the excesses of immorality presented or seen in the restoration drama. It was Jeremy Collier's important work by title Short View of the Immorality and Profaneness of the English Stage that provoked the response to the excesses of the comedy of manners. An example of a domestic tragedy is George Lillo's The London Merchant or the history of George Barnell. Between 1837 and 1907, musical burlesques, musical operas, and comedies were becoming a trend. Theatre going became fashionable and was easy also because of the development of transportation facility. Oscar Wilde, Henrik Ibsen, and Shaw were notable playwrights of this period. Next came the modern drama, which is a product of the 20th century. The two world wars collapsed all the ideals of life and drama now highlighted the helplessness of man. The theater of the absurd was also a product of this age. It captured the absurdity and the meaninglessness of life. The theme of meaninglessness loomed large in the literature of this period. Now to conclude, in a nutshell, the seed of drama was sown in the liturgical performances of the church. It blossomed as mystery, miracle and morality plays in the medieval England. Drama was at its infant stage during this time. In the Elizabethan era, great craftsmen like Marlowe, Shakespeare, Ben Jonson, they took drama to the next level under the influence of the English Renaissance and the patronage of Queen Elizabeth. With the end of the Elizabethan era, the golden age of literature dimmed too. In the Restoration era, female actors were introduced and the plays were predominantly trivial in theme and profligacy was prominent. Domestic tragedy and sentimental comedy came as a reaction against the immoral excesses of the Restoration era. Then came modern drama to establish man as a helpless pawn in the hands of destiny. Thank you for staying with me in this video. We shall meet in another lesson.